Hey friend, John McLennan here. And let me ask you, have you struggled getting that beautiful, easygoing, eagle-sounding strumming to the best of my love? Have you looked up the chords on the internet or watched other YouTube lessons on it but still can't get it to sound like the way you hear on the recording? Well, if so, you clicked on the right video because I'm gonna share with you a secret to playing this song that you're not gonna find on any sheet music site or any other YouTube video on the internet. How did I figure this out? Well, just like so many other guitar players, when I heard this song and listened to it, I thought, well, yeah, it's just a C to a D minor with this little open lick that goes like this. Now that's what you're gonna see on every other YouTube lesson and you'll see that on the internet and sheet music sites, but there's one trick you have to do to get it to sound just like the recording and that is this. You take your open A string and you tune that down to the note G. So what I do is I play the G string I get them to match like that. And then you gotta play the riff like this. So that's the secret. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to play this entire song step by step. But before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome tuning method and what happened with me for so long is I actually couldn't get my guitar in tune without an electronic tuner. And it wasn't until I discovered this way of tuning that just made it so much easier. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning and you can download this it's just a simple pdf and it's going to walk you through the five steps that you need to follow so you can get your guitar in tune right away without a tuner so just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning or i made it easy for you you can click the first link below this video and grab that as my gift to you all right so once you're in this tuning for this eagle song where you tune that fifth string down to g then you alter the chords just slightly so we would just play a typical c chord but what we're going to do is take off that ring finger and we're going to have our c be like that just two fingers so i'm playing the second fret of the fourth string and then the first fret on the second string. Now you start by strumming once on the open strings. So that's actually a G6 chord. And then you put your fingers down on the up strum on the and. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and. So that first strum is open and then the chord goes down. Now with the strumming hand, I'm going down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So there's one down that I don't play. It's on beat three. One and two and three and four and. So my hand goes down there, but I just play air. And then I come back up on the strings. So that's the riff for C. Then you go to a D minor, but what we're gonna play is just the top four strings. We'll do a similar pattern here. We're gonna play the third fret of the fourth string, and then we'll play the rest of the strings underneath that open, and then we'll add down these two fingers. So I'm sort of building in to what looks like an F major seven on guitar. Just the top four strings, three, two, one, open. So we'll do that same strumming pattern. And then it repeats back.
So that's the main riff, and that goes over and over for the first part of the song until we go to the B section. And what happens here is we move up the neck to an E minor seven, we go. I love this part. Basically, we're taking that F major seven chord, that shape that we had a second ago, and we bar down the index finger to cover two strings. Then from there, we're gonna shift it up to frets. So it's gonna be on the top four strings, five, four, three, three. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and, and drop it down two frets, D minor. And back up. Then the first time we just go. And this is a great sound. We play that same D minor shape, but we put the open fifth string in there and it actually becomes like an, an F over G is what you could call that. And then that leads us back to. This riff here, that first riff, we're gonna play it once. Then go to. We alternate there, and this is the. Every night, I give you the best of my love. And we do this. Then we do this cool little walk down, and the way I play this is I play the top four strings. So three, open, open, three. I do a down up there, and then I want this, this little bass line to walk down. So that's gonna go, then I play the fourth string, then do an up strum, then play the second fret of the fourth string, do an up strum, and then open, up strum. So it's gonna go, and then back to the first figure. So then we go back, everything repeats, we do the second verse. Now, when we come out of that second verse and we go to the B section again, there's a little variation the second time. It goes longer. It goes, then it goes like this. This is a nice little acoustic arpeggio picking here. We play the E minor to the D minor, then again. Then you play a G7. We pluck the fifth string open, and then we play the fourth string third fret, third string fourth fret, second string third fret, first string, third fret. So I've got a little bar here with my index. Put that middle finger down. Then back to the chorus. All right, so there's one final part we need to cover, and that is the bridge. And the lyric cue here is, I'm going back in time and it's a sweet dream. Here we take this shape that we've been using and we move it up to the fourth position. So we're gonna start on the fourth string and play six, five, four, four. This is actually an F minor seven. We'll play that for two bars. And then we go back to the riff on C for two bars. And then we go to D minor seven. So we take that shape, we bring it down to the first fret, and then we add our pinky on, on the third fret of the first string and play from five down. And that's over the words. Go on sleeping. Then back to the main figure. So make sure you've got those sections. And again, there's nothing wrong with not playing it in this tuning. But if you really want to get it to sound like the recording, that one string, that one note, 
definitely does make a difference. So rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And remember that even if you nail all of these parts perfectly and the rhythm's right, but you're a little out of tune, that's a bummer. So grab my five-step secret tuning method PDF. There's a link below this video. It's completely free and it's gonna help you be able to grab any guitar and get it in tune without an electronic tuner. So hope you enjoy that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And for more Eagles, check out this video next.